when we first started, we sat down and said, what do we want to do with that old film? What do we not want to do? And it was always our mission to show the highest quality films possible and to really engage the community. I don't ever want to be a film festival that programs for just gay white men. I always want to program for the diversity of our community. I think that's important. And I think people have responded to that. And then when we, you know, community engagement is something that we put a big premium on every year. I mean, how can we, you know, engage this organization or work with this group? And we always try to find ways to do that. We view art as a unifier. And the stories that we tell about the LGBT experience is pretty universal within the community. And so we partner, we reach out to, we work with the community and organizations on specific films that speak to their constituencies. So I, I think as a unifier, I, I think we are in the perfect position to bring films, stories, the artist to the communities that speak to them. You're my boyfriend, your name is John. Hello. Charlie, and this is John Carter, the chap I was telling you about. What? So many of our films these days, you know, the leads are identified as LGBT, but they're not specifically stories about the experience. I mean, they can be just simple stories, dramas, comedies, where the, the lead character happens to be to be gay. I mean, the film that we opened with this year was a documentary about a gay visual artist, but it wasn't really about his coming out or his, or his experience. It was really just about him. It was about loss, love, learning to rebound, and that is so universal. Everybody can exp knows what that's like. So it wasn't really about, you know, LGBT. It was really about just, you know, universal things. The reason that everything that he's doing works is because he's a good painter. My husband and I, you know, have been involved with this now going on 10 years. I think that it is important that we have a venue and a vehicle to tell stories, one, but also to promote independent filmmakers and independent artists. Out on Film plays a really important part in our city's art scene. By showcasing the lives and the stories of LGBTQ folks, it's offering something that no one else can offer in the same way. So in order to really dig down and to tell those stories on more than just a surface level, out on film is really needed to bring those voices and those images to our communities. We got our New York City boy in the house. You're not programming is my baby. I've been working in programming for a long time, and I'm very, very aggressive as a programmer. I don't just wait for films to fall into my lap. If I hear about a movie that I want to see, I'll go after it, I'll contact the filmmaker. And I think our programming is one of the reasons why we are respected, because our programming, the last thing I've ever wanted to do is just be a Xerox of another film festival and to look at their programming and say, let's do that. I want to program films for our audience, but I also want to take chances. You know, we live in an era of video. We don't want to just hear, we don't want to read more than 140 characters. We want to have this all immersive experience where we see, we hear, we feel, where music and images come together and people are using words to convey some of that. And that's the power of film. It brings as many senses as possible to play into telling a story in a very deep way. It's the experience that patrons have. You know, we have patrons who we see them every year. They develop relationships. You know, they meet each other once a year and they spend the week with us. And, and I think for, for our patrons in particular, and I think why it's so important in the city, you know, not only as a cultural event, but as an LGBTQ event, you know, it's a big house and we can sell out 350 seat house or we're showing a film for eight people. As long as they see themselves and have that experience, that's what's important. I'm a traditionalist. I, I, I love watching movies on the big screen and that experience. And just to be able to watch it together, you know, with your community and talk about it afterwards and, and meet the filmmakers. For me, that's just that's just an experience you, you can't duplicate. I mean, you can't watch a, a film on your iPhone and get a whole lot out of it. I mean, you just can't do that. I mean, I think films are meant to be seen here and really experienced. It's clear, easier to work. <laughs> what I will always take from this experience are those moments in the theater where we have, you know, 
the audience, we have the filmmaker, and there is such a connection that happens. And you see people who are visibly moved by what they just experienced. And you have a filmmaker who is watching this happen. Like, this is my art that I've just put on screen. I have just poured my heart and soul into this movie, and I'm experiencing it with this audience. It is those moments, and they've been very significant for me, that I will always take with me.